Northampton coach Jim Mallander had just one problem with his size three victories to start the league season, a tendency to let the other team back into it. So what he'll make of win number four for the Saints is anyone's guess. He'll be happy enough with the efforts of Luther Burrell. One surge over on the left was followed just four minutes later by another on the right. And Worcester were all over the place with little more than a quarter of the match played. After the centre's solo work, an even better score was rather more of a team affair. Rhys Oakley and Phil Dowson with the silky skills to deliver Vasily Artemyev's first try of the season. 25-3 at half-time then, and soon after it, the Warriors were on course for a walloping. Scrum half Lee Dixon helped Courtney Laws mark his first start since February. And inside an hour, Northampton had the try bonus point. Replacement hooker Mike Haywood burrowed over for his first try for the club, 37-3, and so far so good for Malander. But he'll be rather less chuffed with the final 21 minutes, as Saints staged a simply spectacular switch-off and a string of Worcester replacements took full advantage. Johnny R's dive over looked like plucky resistance from a beaten side, but two minutes later Josh Matavesi broke through some tackles and the Warriors suddenly had more than a heavy beating in their sights. A third try in six minutes, this time from Josh Drownanui, left the visitors with another ten to snatch an extremely unlikely attacking bonus. And they did it with the final play of the game, a fourth try from the bench, this time by Ollie Hayes to give coach Richard Hill some food for thought before next week's team selection. And now it was hard to keep track of who was actually winning this game. Now a losing bonus point was also within reach for the Warriors, only for Andy Goo to miss his conversion. But that would have been too tame an ending for this game, so referee Tim Wigglesworth ordered a retake because Saints players were in front of the try line. This time, of course, Goo landed the kick to finish a game which left everyone with something to smile about. Although Malander will demand more attention on finishing teams off.